Good morning, good afternoon, good evening traders. I hope you had a wonderful day trading yesterday and um, I hope you watched my video yesterday because when we were breaking out above this range value area high, I said I'm seeing a few concerning things and I think we could dump down to $29,000 and that's exactly what happened. So give me a few minutes, pay attention to this because what I'm going to give you is some valuable content to help you to see what to trade and how to trade these ranges. And this is how I'm going to trade it. I've actually got a little bit of extra funds and I'm going to be trading some BTC USD inverse contracts on Bybit. So, and this is what I'm going to look to do to trade. So firstly, yesterday we saw a really nice move over here to the upside, very long four hour candle that developed, broke through this range value area high. And we had a couple of closes outside or just above the value area high. And all of a sudden in the Asian session, around about 2 a.m. UTC plus two, we had a huge dump to the downside. Guess where we went down to? Right down to that range POC. The problem is when we have moves to the upside like this, we get people that get overly bullish and they start longing at the top here. And I'm going to show you my imbalance chart to show you exactly what happened. Why? Well, yesterday I dealt with why we had this move to the upside. But I'm going to show you why we had this move to the downside. When we get to a big dump like this, people get overly bearish. And they start shorting around about here. And that's absolutely the wrong way around. What we've got to start learning as traders is that you... You long into weakness and you short into strength. Or to put it another way, you long into support and you short into resistance. And right now, we add a critical support area. And if I turn on my, my levels on the chart, you can see these levels haven't changed, changed for a couple of weeks. I went and plotted my levels. And here you can see we had a a bounce almost right off this daily level at 29,139. And if you look at my YouTube channel, this is ex exactly what my thumbnail said there. 35,000 or 29,000. BTC 29,000 incoming, but can we still break out? And I really think that we can still break out of the zone, uh, but a couple of things have to happen. Looking at the daily chart, We've been ranging in an area, you can see here, since the 11th of May. Ranging here between the value area low of 28,600 and 30,626. We had a breakout, breaking down below that range value area high, coming down, touching the POC once, twice, three, four, almost four times on the daily. So this is a very, very important support area and we can see that we traded in this little range here for like three days but what i'm seeing happening right now is possibly that we are creating a new range let me mark it out here on my chart here between twenty nine thousand three hundred and 31,352 possibly up to 31,000 800. I'm going to mark it up until those candles. And why I say this is because we've we've had lower highs or lower lows printed. And all of a sudden, we had a higher high right here and coming back. And what's important to note is that from this lower low, we've had a higher low printed. That's very important in terms of market structure. But what I still want to see before I confirm bullishness or before I'm going to go very long at this point, and incidentally, I wouldn't go long here. This for me is a point to go long. For me, I'm not saying you must do it. Do your own research. Not a financial advisor. This is what I'm doing with my trades. Uh, I am looking for a little bit of a bounce or a retracement further down, possibly down to this 29,300 area and I'm going to look for a sign of strength.
to confirm my long, possibly closer to the New York Stock Exchange open because once we reach 3.30 South African time, that is when the New York uh, markets open and that's when we can expect a lot more liquidity into the market. Here you can see this very, very long volume candle and if you hover over it, wow, 1,822 within a four bit Bitcoin within a four hour period. Right now, eight minutes till the candle close, not a lot of uh, volume. I mean, seven, seven BTC. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. So I'm going to wait till a little bit closer till I start seeing volume start to increase because volume and increase in volume is often a indicator that we are in for a lot more volatility. And of course, be careful of these areas. It could quite be, or it could be that we are at a point where this price could break down. If we break this, this range POC, be very careful. Obviously, we've still got support here at the range value area low. But if we lose that, we could see levels down to 24,000. But let me go and mark some or pull some fibs so you can just see exactly what is going on here at the moment. So if I pull a fib from this 27,900 low right to the top of that 32,000, you can see we're right in an area for a reversal in that uh, golden pocket. And conversely, if I pull a fib from the top of this move to the bottom of this move, or actually yesterday, right there, you could see we were kind of bouncing in a golden area reversal. So right here is a reversal area. Right here is a reversal area. So this you can actually see as an extra point of support and an extra point of resistance. So let me can show you why I think price dumped down here and why I think price could reverse at this point. So looking at my imbalance charts, and I'm going to explain it to you in a second. Let us go back to where price started dumping. Okay, so last night around about Half past 11 South African time, we were still at 31,400 and you can start seeing the volume wasn't huge. 34 million contracts, 23 million, 20 million, 14 million volume started decreasing, 14 million, 9 million, 9 million. All of a sudden, we had an increase to 16 million, 7.65 million and look at this. All of a sudden, 145 million Contracts opening, and that's where the dump started taking place. So if you ever had a look here, right at the top of this candle, this is where you should be shorting. 865,894,000 contracts shorting here. And all of a sudden, we had people shorting here. Bigger shorts than longs opening there. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down. I mean, this is a, a huge cam candle. This is on a 30 minute. You can see all of a sudden on the next candle opening and our delta was negative 45 million. Next candle was 165 million, million. So volume was increasing. That meant that the momentum was going to continue. And right here at the top of the candle, you can actually see that there's longs that were liquidated. 35,244. You can see that by the zero on the the sell side um, and we had buys happening excuse me those were shorts that were that were actually liquid liquidating or closing but if we go and see towards the bottom of this this candle sorry here's where the longs got liquidated right at the bottom of this candle why because these longs that were opening right at the top of these candles and i spoke about this yesterday Right here, right there, all of these longs right here would have been underwater. And coming back down to this this candle, those longs would have been closing here, closing their positions, being liquidated, and we can see here a whole bunch of longs 
been liquidated. And negative delta of 23 million. And again, here, you've got guys buying here, buying too early. You never try and catch a falling knife. So continuing lower to this candle, you can see there, longs liquidated again at 29,700. But our volume starts decreasing here a little bit. Our delta down to 4 million. So you can start seeing that this move is slowing down. And right down to the bottom of this candle, you can see here, shorts are now starting to open at the bottom of this candle, which is dangerous for those shorts. And I'll show you why. Again, he has longs liquidated, re-entering the market as, as shorts. And at the moment, you can see these shorts opening up right at support, I think are starting to be in danger because our delta is changing to positive the volume is kind of staying the same and we are in our current candle a lot of shorts opening here so what's going to happen once we get some liquidity coming into the market all of the shorts that are opening below this 29,595 uh, area are going to be in trouble and let's have a look at our tpo chart real quick something i've spotted here which makes me think that we are going to move possibly back up to that thirty-one thousand area today within today's possibly within today's session or the next three to five days is this right here you can see price came down and these letters represent a half an hour uh, session each you can see right about two pips right down to the bottom we have a failed auction when we have a failed auction you can almost guarantee that we are going to move right up to the POC which is price has actually broken through from it and that we're going to move all the way back possibly right to the top of the opening of the day and you can see that opening of the day is right at the previous day's POC, 31,355. And looking at our initial balance, we've broken the initial balance. This is that orange line right down there, which means <laughs> we've not got a, a very nice bell-shaped profile like it, like it should be to create initial balance. But an imbalance came to the downside here, and we are looking... At the moment, right there, 29,640 as resistance. You can see all these candles not being able to break through there. Now, POC, well, uh, a lot of volume being traded here in the 29,400 area. So I believe once we break through this area, we are going to have a very quick run to the top. Why? Because this area has very, very little liquidity, very, very little volume. So let's come back to my chart here. So I am looking for a little retrace to the $29,300 area. As I said, we're going to have resistance around about that $30,600 area. And the short stops are going to be in that area there. So once we get to this area, price comes here. A lot of shorts are going to close their positions. They're going to get liquidated. And I think we're going to have a run up at least to this $31,000 area. So with that, I wish you a safe trading day. I'm going to be doing an analysis later in the day of Optimism USDT, very new coin. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and follow. And check the links below and in the video if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching on TradingView to yesterday's idea. See you tomorrow.